السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. The first lesson, inshallah, with Brother Zaid, learning together, inshallah, how to read the Quran from A to Z or from uh, Alif to Ya, inshallah. The first lesson, of course, learning the the Arabic alphabet. So learning the letters individually. How do we pronounce the Arabic letters when they are by themselves in the alphabet? So you know, in English, you have A, B, C, D. But when it comes to W, for example, the W sounds as W, right? The uh, uh, C sounds as K sometimes. When it comes to the Arabic letters, it's much easier. Every letter sounds almost the same like its name. And this is what you will find, inshallah. We're going to go right away and you will see for yourself that reading Arabic is the easiest language ever. And you will see, inshallah. So let's start with the first letter. Uh, what is this letter? Hamza. So this letter is called Hamza. Ha with a ha. Hamza. You know, there are some brothers named Hamza. Those are ha. Hamza. But this is ha. ha Hamza. So this is the only letter whose name is different from its sound. So the Hamza sounds a. A. Or u. Or U or E. So when it comes to the Arabic language, every letter, every letter will have a vowel with it. And that makes it very easy to be to be read. That vowel might be a little slash above the letter, which is called fatha, or a little wow above the letter, which will be called Dhamma. Or a little slash under the letter, which we will call kasra. So the Hamza sound a or u or e. And this will apply to all of the letters. Don't worry about it now if you feel like it's complicated, but just learn this is the Hamza. How does the Hamza sound? A. A. Or u. u or e. e. That's it. And notice I did not say. Ah, I did not say ooh. No, no, that's a different thing. We will come to it later, inshallah. Ah, ooh, e. That's it. So the name of this letter is Hamza. 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 And how does the Hamza sound? Ah. If it has a fatha, ah. Dhamma, ooh. Kasra, e. Dhamma, ooh. Fatha, ah. Kasra, e. That's it. Ah, ooh, e. Now, the next letter. The next letter is named Ba. The name of this letter is Ba. Ba, just like that. Yes, some people say Ba, Ta, Tha, with the Hamza sound at the end, which is also correct. But this is easier. This is easier, and you will know later when we read the Quran, it's easier for you when you read the Quran in uh, some places. So the name of this letter is Ba. ba. Remember, one dot on the bottom, Ba. That's it. One dot on the bottom, ba. You will see these three letters. They are a bit similar, right? So this is how you're going to distinguish them. One dot on the bottom, ba. Two on top, ta. Three, tha. One dot on the bottom, ba. Two dots, ta. Ta. Three, tha. Tha. See? Three, tha. Two on top, ta. One on the bottom, ba. So, ba, ta, tha. Say it again. Ta, ta, ba, ta, tha. Ba, ta, tha. What's this letter? Hamza. Hamza. Ba, ta, tha. Ba, ta, tha. Now, every letter from other than the Hamza, the sound is the first part of the name. So, ba, ba, ta, tha, tha, tha. That's the sound. B. T, th. So all of the Arabic letters, their sound is taken from the first part of their name. Ba, ba, ta, ta, tha, th, jim, ha, ha, dal, dal, ra, ra, zai, z, sin, s. That's why Arabic is, is the easiest language to, to read and write. So let's come back now, take them one by one. Ba, how does the ba sound? How does the ba sound? Ba. Ba. Now, same thing. The ba will either have 
Afatha, and in that case we will say what? Ba. Or a dhamma? Bu. Or a kasra? B. B. So, ba fatha ba. Ba dhamma bu. Ba kasra b. Hamza fatha? A. Hamza dhamma? U. Hamza kasra? E. Ba fatha? Ba. Ba dhamma? Bu. Ba kasra? E. Let's come to the ta. Same thing. Ta fatha? A. Ta. Ta fatha? Ta. Ta dhamma? Tu. Tu. Ta kasra? T. So, ta, tu, t. As you notice, again, I'm not saying ta, tu, t. No, no. It's short. The vowels are short. There's a long version that will come later, which is written differently, which are two letters. Here, one letter. One letter with the haraka. Ta, fatha, ta. Ta, dhamma, tu. Ta, kasra, t. The last one, fa. That's the name of the letter. Fa. How does the tha sound? It depends on the vowel. Huh? Basically, when it's a consonant, and we will learn this later, th, 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 right? Th. So, tha fatha, tha. Tha dhamma, tu. Tha kasra, thi. That's it. So, these are, let's just take these four letters for today, inshallah. Hamza fatha a, hamza dhamma u, hamza kasra e. Ba fatha, ba. با ضمة بو با كسرة تي تا فتحة تا تا ضمة تو تا كسرة تي تا فتحة تا تا ضمة تو تا كسرة في في so we try to make them short ف ثو في there is a very common mistake among many readers of the Quran that starts here that mistake starts here if you avoid it now you're good don't make it long it's not long تا تو تي ف ثو في أ أو إي ب بو بي that's it any question is it clear إن شاء الله I'm gonna walk with you step by step until you read the Holy Quran إن شاء الله just like a professional إن شاء الله so this is ب one dot on the bottom ب ب تا on top two dots on top تا three dots on on top فا تمام همزة ب تا فا همزة با تا ثا and these these are called حركات this is a فتحة this is a ضمة this is a كسرة فتحة you open your mouth أ با تا ثا ضمة you round أ ت ث ب كسرة you raise the middle part of your tongue ب ت I'm not saying ب ت no ب ت ث E, just like this. Everything clear? Any question? Jazakumullah khairan. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad, alhamdulillah, ya Rabbil alayhi wa sallam. Any question?